Yo, what is up YouTube? It is Zeta TCG here, and we are here for my second video game review. Um, if you um, did not watch my last video game review, I reviewed Killzone Shadowfall. Um, please go check that out. Um, we did add a little twist to it, um, as, as we're doing with this video. We are going to be watching duels while reviewing games. And the game I wanted to review, to review one last time before I go off to school is I felt that I needed to address this game. And that is The Order 1886, the game you're seeing on your screen. Um, I just have its uh, Wikipedia page up right now uh, because uh, I'm a scrub. And um, I don't have fancy stuff because my computer isn't that good. But uh, I do want to review this game because I do feel that many reviewers were pretty harsh on the game however I do get their points that they did make and I do agree with a lot of the points they made however I do believe what Ready had done here is something really special so before I get into my review let's go ahead and find us a game that we can watch because I am I'm not in any way or form ready to duel at all. Uh, I don't know which deck I want to even use, man. I mean, my Cyber Dragons are not even that good. Um, let's watch this crap. Bill Hader, man. Bill Hader, that guy is so funny, man. Alright, let's watch this shit. What do we got? Necros, Necros. Fucking mirror. Okay. We got Imperial Iron Wall, too. Okay, so this guy has it going. Alright, well, let me get started. While you guys can enjoy the duel, in case you just want to ignore me because I may just make useless points, but I don't give a shit. Um, the Order 1886. I played it on my PS4 earlier this month in August, and it was the most beautiful game I ever played in my entire life. Um, I've never, ever, in my life, played a game that had absolutely amazing graphics. I thought that the graphics in this game were absolutely phenomenal. And I'm sure everybody else knows that too. Ready at Dawn really did focus a whole lot on the graphics. And I do appreciate that because there's hardly any games today that don't really want to focus on making the graphics phenomenal. And Ready at Dawn did hit on that very good. Um, I want to talk about the duel for a little bit before I go to my next point. Uh, so you normal some great sorcerer, and I don't think okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Whenever uh, Imperial Iron Wall and the stake is out on the field, you can't do shit. Um, well, it's one one. This is probably a good, a good duel. Okay. Um. Anyways, um, the second point. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I had a sneeze. Um, the second point I wanted to make was the overall concept of the game was really good. I, I, I really I really liked what um, Ready at Dawn had here with their concept of the game. Um, I'm not going to spoil it in any way or form uh, to you guys, just in case you haven't played it. Um, I may spoil a little thing here and there. Um, but it won't be anything serious. I'm not going to give away the ending, okay? Um, but the concept was really good. I really liked the concept of the game. Uh, I'm surprised that nothing like this has, ha hasn't has came out already that set this far back. I mean, come on, 1886, you're talking um, like not even reconstruction in America. Um, but this game is set in the UK, and um, I don't know my world history that much, but I do know my American history because we're Americans. But I do believe the Industrial Revolution was still going on. If, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm a scrub, as I said at the very beginning of the video. Um, but the concept that um, Ready at Dawn had here was really good. They, had, they have something here. I mean, they shouldn't just let these bad reviews, like, you know, kill their confidence, because, honestly, they're just reviews. There are people who think this game is the greatest game they ever played. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, that it is the greatest game I ever played, because it's not. Um, but, 
it is it is a game worth playing. Is it a game worth buying? Absolutely not. Um, is it a game worth renting from like say GameFly or if there's still in your area? I'm not saying there is. I'm pretty sure there isn't. But a blockbuster to rent it. Absolutely rent it without a doubt. It, it's a it, it's an absolute must play. Um, it's it's really that good to play, but it won't be the best game you ever played. Um, the plot um, the plot was uh, it was a nice plot. I'm not gonna say nothing more. Um, the plot could have been a lot better. Did you? Okay, that's a shared ride. So he's gonna get some drop out of here. Okay, yeah, because he discarded Colossalus. Normal. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I kind of went off on the duel. Um, but um, the plot uh, the plot was was just nice. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything else about it. The plot the plot could have been it could have been really good. And I think this guy's about to go you know, unicorn and Valk. Dang, discarded a quasar. Wow, pretty good move there. Um, so, um, shit, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting off topic about, about the duel, but I'm not going to lie, that play was actually pretty nice. Um, but, um, the plot, um, it was just nice overall. Um, it could have been a lot longer, no doubt. Um, I will talk, I, I will talk about the cons about this game towards the end of my video. Um, but the weapons also in this game, I absolutely really liked the weapons. Um, I did read though um, from one group, from actually not just one reviewer but but a lot of people that um, the weapons in this game really range from absolutely OP to useless and um, I do agree with you on that or, or I, I would agree with some people on that a little bit um, I, uh, I I would agree because hell there's a weapon that 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 shoots out um, freaking thermite and then you can ignite the thermite from from your weapon and you can light up a certain area on fire that's absolutely ridiculous okay but I'm still going to admire that because that is very creative and that is very very amazing I mean I can't really describe it with any other word it's just amazing that ready at dawn comes up with stuff like this for weapons you never ever have played a game that can do that okay I mean you can't I'm sorry uh, there is no, no other game I've ever seen that has made a weapon like that now um, a lot of people did say that this game really had what it took to really give the PS4 the boost it needed to be the best console out there and I would agree with that it did but when it came out and people played it and, and they played the plot and they realized that if you play the plot on easy you could probably knock it out in six hours they were totally turned off and I would be turned off too this game had what it took to give the PS4 the leading boost it needed to become the best console out there but it lacks overall as a game. This is where I'm gonna to start to kind of bash on the game a little bit. This game absolutely lacked overall. It needed so much more. And if it had that that much more, it would have been game of the year, without a doubt. The Witcher 3, uh, Bloodborne, Life is Strange would have no match against this game whatsoever. It would it would blow away the competition. Arkham Knight, never heard of it. That's all about the Order 1886 if it had what it needed to really make this game amazing. And what I'm going to talk about with its cons is the lack of multiplayer. How on earth are you going to put amazing games, or, or I'm sorry, not amazing games, amazing weapons into a game and not add a multiplayer? Even like a team deathmatch or something. A team deathmatch or like, or like a domination something I mean I mean how, how would you not if 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 ready at dawn would have added a multiplayer they could import the same graphics into multiplayer 
and you would have the best looking multiplayer game ever. I mean, ever, without a doubt. And you would also have amazing weapons, too. Are you kidding me? I, I want to freaking, freaking, like, shoot out some thermite and then ignite it from my weapon just to light up some, some, some kid on fire, dude? That's, that, that's absolutely ridiculous. No multiplayer killed this game. It absolutely did. You cannot argue with me about that. Multiplayer killed it. The lack of it killed it. If there was multiplayer, this game would have gotten better be better reviews because then the sixty dollars is going to be worth something. If, if 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 you buy this game new. The second thing I'm going to bash on is I've already said it before, is its short plot. I beat the game in probably six seven hours. And. Whenever I beat it, I was like, I can see why people were reviewing about the short plot. Because six hours for a game? I mean, is this is this Call of Duty campaign or something, dude? I mean, come on. You have these amazing graphics, and you spend so much time on a game, um, freaking, um, freaking developing it into a really great game. And, um... And oh shit, I'm sorry guys, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um I'm a freaking scrub guys. Oh man. Um see guys, I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I'm focusing too much on the duel. But I can't think of anything else to provide entertainment for you guys because I'm not gonna lie, this duel is actually pretty good. Um But um Okay yeah, that's right, the short plot. Okay. Um if Ready at Dawn would have really committed a lot of time into the plot and extending it by even even as little as maybe five hours, if you would have made this game like like a twelve hour plot game, or or, or, or at least a twelve hour single player experience, people would be much happier, and a lot of people would have given this game better reviews. Um, but to be honest, what I think. The length of the plot should be if, if if a developer is going to take this much time reviewing a game or, or reviewing a game. Gosh dang it, dude! See, guys, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm focusing too much on the duel. The duel's really good. Um, freaking um, okay. If a developer is going to take this much time making a game, not reviewing it, I mean, they should at least make the plot long. And dang, just swung for game. Fourteen hundred manju, man. Exactly. You could have ring of destruction for that thing, dude. Man. What a top deck, I guess, man. Let's see what they're saying. Bill Hader one. <laughs> Dofus. Summon Senju for game. That rate. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. That was actually a, a really good duel. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let me pull up one last one because I'm, I'm almost done here. Um, but um, I would have liked the plot to have been between 20 to 25 hours long. I mean, a game like this has to be that long. I mean, they, they could have they could have done so much more to it. I mean, they could have started earlier from where the game started at originally. I mean, they could have really gone in depth with character. Did he just activate? Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, this is Burning Abyss, and fuck, I don't know who he's facing. Okay, shit else. Okay, um, and he, and he, and he has to be, oh, dang, I saw him warning. Wrecked, okay, um, okay, anyways, um, like, I, I really, I really wish Ready at Dawn would have gone, like, in depth with characters. Uh, even even as much as as just like 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 being able to like create a weapon with um, I hope I hope this isn't much of a spoil but Nikola Tesla is in the game and if you know your history Nikola Tesla is probably one of the greatest minds in in history I mean not just like 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 in like American history going up against um, 
going up against uh, freaking uh, Thomas Edison. But Nikola Tesla is one of the greatest minds in history. I mean, he maybe even error up there with, with like Newton and all of them. And if Radio Dawn would have allowed you to create a weapon with Tesla, that would have been absolutely amazing. You see, they had something really special here, Ready at Dawn, but they failed. And because of that, they got crap reviews and they got and they got um, and they got a lot of like bash, I guess. I mean when I say the game lacked entirely, it really lacked entirely. I mean, I'm putting out there great great ideas for the game. I really hope there is a sequel, without a doubt. I mean I don't know what you want to call the sequel, and this guy just pulled off Triple Dante, and he's about to freaking mill three more, dude. Oh my god. I think I think the Shadal player is done, and he, he's actually up by 2,900 life points. Rip and pepperonis, man. The Shadal player is done for. Okay. About to swing for... 50,000 damage whenever that face down gets banished. He's running, okay, wow, he's actually running a perform mage deck. Okay, he's gonna swing for six. Wow. Rip. Rip life points, never heard of him. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. Um, but as I said earlier, when I say this game lacked entirely, it really did lack. I mean, I'm putting out there amazing ideas. And I really think that that if Ready had done would have just had a little bit more time, they could have made this game absolutely amazing. Game of the year, without a doubt. All it needed was multiplayer, a little bit of a longer plot, and a little bit more more um, in-game stuff. And and like what I mean is that like get get in depth with characters maybe even be able to create a weapon that that would be absolutely amazing even even if it took an extra year to develop all that in i'd i'd wait for it i mean shoot if i waited if i waited freaking an extra four months for watchdogs to come out in 2014 then i can wait a year i mean that sounds like a bit a, a pretty big gap but i'm willing to wait because Whenever, whenever this game came out in February of this year, I didn't have a PS4, and I got my PS4 in July, so I would have waited a year, without a doubt. There's plenty of other great games on PS4. Now, let me go ahead and recap my pros and cons. Pros, absolutely great concept that Ready at Dawn had here. Uh, the concept was really good. I liked it. I'm surprised no one has came up with this yet, but they came up with it first, and they're banking. Um, the plot was good. I said nice earlier. Um, it was nice, good. Um, as I said earlier with my cons, it could have been longer. I'll get to that in a little bit. And then my last pro is that these were the best graphics I ever seen in a game in my entire life. Almost real life, okay? I mean, it was like if like I was staring into my TV and it was just like a box. And it was like real life. It was amazing. Cons? No multiplayer. That has to be the biggest one. I really think they could have hit it off here with a multiplayer. Um, the plot was short. I really would have liked for it to be longer. At, as much as 20 to 25 hours even. Um, but no less than 12. I mean, but they absolutely failed on that. Um, and then my last one is that the game just lacked. It lacked entirely. I mean, whenever I mention my first two cons, you could just already tell this game lacks. And so that's what um, that's my review, guys. Um, you can tell me if you like it. You can tell me if you hate it. Um, you can tell me what you guys uh, think. Uh, you can comment as always. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more video game reviews and also for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and Pokemon videos. I promise, guys, I have not forgotten about opening up Pokemon packs. I absolutely have not forgotten. I'm still trying to find that right thing at a very decent price because I'm broke. Um, I'm trying to get a second Clash of Rebellion box because I pulled freaking Cosmo Farm Girl and I'm trying to get a second one because if, if, if I get two, I can easily make, make my money back off of buying those two boxes. 
Um, anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more video game reviews, more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and more Pokemon videos. Well, actually, you can wait for my Pokemon video. I haven't posted a Pokemon video yet, guys. But um, to conclude my video, I'm going to go ahead and, and give this um, video game my rating. I do believe reviewers were a little harsh. I don't think this game is worth a 6 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10. Because the concept is still good. I enjoyed the concept. The graphics have to be applauded. But yet again, this game proved that great graphics do not make a game. And with that, I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, an 8 out of 10. That's my score. Uh, I think that's, I honestly think that's the perfect score for it. I don't think, no more, no less. 8 out of 10. So, last time guys, thank you so much for watching. This is, a this is ADA TCG, signing out.